Hello and welcome back to another um, to another episode of Master of Rhine 2. We are the humans uh, in green top right corner here. Um, actually, it always says from I think F9, which is my record button, also triggers the the shortcut for re relocation or something. Um, how does relocation work? Interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we want to settle on Lias. Settling on Lias uh, gets these people up here, which are the silent in range. And the silent are prepared for war. If you look at their fleet, well, not that. Yeah, this that one. This fleet right here is a transport, so that means they have military units built for invading other planets in orbit right now. So they are prepared to attack. And we don't even have a fleet. <laughs> right. What could possibly go wrong? Um, Soul's building a transport ship right now. In three turns it will finish. To and three. Okay, and that ship should settle on Lias. Um, let's let's go through the planets menu. Plants in range, no enemy presence, non-hostile. Yeah, Lias is the best choice. Lias, it because it's had it has. This is Terran environment, which is great. You have to grab that. Return. Okay. So, in terms of research, we're going for the spaceport just to fill out up our our um, income. Sp research space lab missile base. Yeah, missile base is great. Because that will help us defend. <laughs> um, maybe I should grab a cloning center. Maybe I should. Costs a hundred. Now you know what? I'll grab a research lab. Um, Colony of Soul. Oh, they finished auto lab. Interesting. I I was unaware that I did research that. Um, yeah, grab the auto lab. Let's do it. Okay, Ahmed Barracks, Fighter Garrison, Spaceport. Spaceport is the one that we were after right here. What's Robo Miners? That looks like a generous production. Ten production. Do I have to build that or is it just automatic? Let's see. Yes. Colonized Lias 2. Accept. The first thing you have to do is get an automatic factory or nothing will ever get done. Yes. Um, gains a level. Okay, research lab. That's good news. Uh, what next? I could go for a fighter garrison. Spaceport is, I think, a really good investment because it, it has a maintenance cost of one and it increases the income by 50%. So that's two. So it's a net gain of um, one. <laughs> So it's, uh, yeah, that's that's good news. We did not make contact with the Cylons. I'm, I'm, I have to say, I'm a bit surprised by that. Really, I am. That means that they don't have the range yet. Which is impossible, given their research lead.
like look at that oh but we're, we made some jumps soul finished auto lab this is Laos uh, Laos um, marine barracks next to get rid of the morale debuff soul finished uh, these are all very defensive we want the spaceport now we see them okay packs and we did not make contact to anyone spaceport finished spaceport okay we're getting somewhere so we, we're keeping this list small we don't need the f anything to fight in uh, in Seoul but we need more more colonies and let me radiate can I even land on the radiant radiant planet it does offer the colony base so you know what I, I land on the, the radiated one because if I don't the thing is if I don't then these like uh, the silicoid could swing in and grab the radiated planet because it's 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 essentially not radiated for the silicoid the silicoid don't care about radiation so it's just a Terran planet for them um, yeah packs you can actually explore min right through the wormhole go through the wormhole this is Babylon 5 all over again um, no actually not Babylon 5 Deep Space 9 huge science fiction fan uh, okay now we can fly home like like yeah like this is now like Voyager you you went through a wormhole and you're on your fifth in turn voyage home <laughs> spaceport yeah we wanted the spaceport and it immediately like it generates two see and six for trade goods but we'll change that in a second um this is Laios, is that no it's Cressa Prime. Yeah, we want the barren planet please. So a colony base, but we'll run out of food, so we'll go for a freight of lead first and then a colony base. And the freight of fleet does not produce any food, but it produces some um, battle station powered armor. It produces the capability of transporting food around my colonies. Powered armor provides troops with... this is just... Uh, additional defender bonus. Robo mine. it looks like a building. I think it's a building. Um, deuterium armor, laser cannon, space scanner. Microbiotics actually helps with uh, population growth and we need that we need population growth because we're about to settle everywhere and then every planet every colony has to produce something soul is on its maximum paradise is on its maximum paradise is doing trade goods let's change that auto lab we want auto lab and we want this one and the space thingy yeah okay so auto lab last spaceport first because it's cheap and it pays for itself and robo mining next okay and you just do that um yeah Elias you need people right so you fly to Elias Yes, and Seoul also can spend some. So it just takes 10 turns to rebuild these two. In Seoul, this one. Yes. Okay, Radiant is a, Radiant is a challenge because Radiant, Radiant planets cannot farm. Ever. 
unless I get tech that allows me to farm there. I don't know. I actually forgot. Um, so this might be a planet where hydroponic farms actually make sense. But let's go for automated factory first. After that for marine barracks. Um, then for spaceport and then for robo miners. I think this is a good ordering of things. And buy the buy, buy some production. Okay. Colony ship. And it finished what? I should read this more carefully. Okay, so minus one now. Someone someone will not get the food they need. Um No colonies actually. Where am I producing the freighter fleet? Ah, it's done next turn. Okay. And yeah, the scout is on his travels home. They will have a a, a great story to tell. Do you remember that one time we got the order to fly home instead of taking the wormhole? Yeah, half the crew died. Um, <laughs> something like that. Okay, four planets now. Yeah, these... they will spiral out of control. Five out of fifteen, and that's just for them though. The five out of fifteen, I think, is exclusively them. Wow, and it's an ultra rich also. They will be horrible. Yeah, this will be hard to take down. Spiritual leader. What's a spiritual leader? 330. Now, this is actually already the reduced cost. Uh, finished marine barracks. Alright, uh, go for... Robo mining plant. Uh, and I'll think of... Oh, spaceport. Go spaceport first. Go that pays for itself. This is in Laos. Actually... Missile base first. Just so we have some defense. We can we cannot spontaneously build the missile base. That's that's the problem. Okay. Um, yeah, leaders. Yeah, she already has a reduced cost by two hundred and seventy. So science spiritual leader though, what is that? Morale rating of planets. Of planets? Of a planet, right. Assassin and a telepath. Spying bonus of all defensive agents. Agents by, by nine. That's awesome. We want her. We want her badly. <laughs> um, cost 330. Robo Miner Plant. Paradise Prime. Uh, as for colonies, so Sol 2 could actually ship someone to Sol 1. And by someone, I'm talking four people. Now we'll be doing a colony ship. Now, still, we need to get this finished. Yes. Okay. And Sol 2, actually... I want you to do housing. And after housing, go for Robo Mining Plant. No, we don't want to delete housing. Okay, um... This is Sol 2. Yeah, everything's alright. And then we'll... we'll follow the expansion plan again but for now we have to put the lid on it um, leaders still though how much do you want 330 so just increase this a bit and then we'll have 330 next turn 
Okay. So, leaders. Grab her, hire. Marine barracks next in Lion Wall's spaceport. One settler arrived with Lias. So, how, how are colonies looking? Five of six in Cressa. You're building a colony base. What are you doing after that? Nothing yet, so... I'm thinking... Robo mining plant, and then actually go for a cloning center, because I think I'll get, get a cloning center everywhere just to get... Um, just to get production up. Okay, turn. Plus zero, we have plus zero food. So this might be a problem soon. Gains a level. So, gaining a level doesn't, I think, means nothing for him, right? Silicoids. Spy steals auto lab. Okay. We need defenses. Uh, auto lab is a huge deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven star systems. And of these, it's actually also only seven planets. You did not take two planets in one system. Okay. So 7 times 30, if they build it, is um, 210 research. That's horrible news. That's horrible. <laughs> okay, uh, we need defensive spies. Like, um, one agent, I think this is defensive, spy is offensive is at 16% but we have zero of them so I don't know if they if there's a multiplication or something how that actually works but let's assume that I can just divide 100% um, by 16 and get the amount of agents I need 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ish so we have to build 7 ish spies colonies you actually build a spy now. Okay. Then you build a spy. And you build a spy. Just quick interlude, we need to get spying up. Another spy. Also, spy please. Do not delete it, yeah. So in, in four turns we have five spies. Um, and we put three more that gets us up to eight spies. The silent people feel no fear. Yeah, I wouldn't too. Seeing, seeing glorious human ships speed through our uh, night skies, we know that you will honor us with peace and brotherhood. I'm 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 glad you see things that way. Drax assassinated a Corsum spy sent against Durash 4. A Corsum. Who Who are the Corsum? Okay, soul finished training spy. Okay, and three spies. Who is like Who's Corzon? Racist. Oh yeah, okay. He's the leader of the Silicoid. So we have three spies right here. Um, yeah, let's go for three more spies in these bases. Spy. Actually, there's a faster way to get into this menu. You just click back here. And this is so much usability improvement compared with um, compared with Master of Orion One. I mean, it's huge. Oh, 
Okay. He's still sending spies. Next thing he was housing. So who's... This spy takes longest. So I might actually buy that one in two turn. In one turn maybe? Colonies. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now we're done with spies. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, eight spies right now. Is there? Can I see this in different numbers? <laughs> like, can is there something? Can I see how good I am at defending? Report on myself? No. Declare war. Ignore audience. Um. Yeah, maybe hide. And I think you all need. Yeah, we can afford that. I think we'll just hide so we get reports. Microbiotics. I think this is automatic. Plus five to all spying rolls, which is great. Okay, we have zero weapons. We need to work on that. So let's let's grab physics and go with that. Kelvin defending spy. Oh, that's a silent spy. We we we, <laughs> we killed a defending spy. That's not good. Uh, also, our stats increased hugely. Like we could defend with five of them. I think I don't want to go into war with the Kevlar, uh, Kevlan. Do we have a current report? At war with Tarlarians. Oh, they have so much weapons. Um, they don't have a lot of technology. Report on Corsum. So what's your weapon tech? You don't have a lot of weapon tech. You have a two enemy spies. You've got a fusion beam. Two to six points of damage. And a Merculite missile. I don't think you can take us. I don't I don't mean to brag or anything but yeah you know he's not doing enough damage before missile bases can take him down so if he actually attacks all we have to do is build missile bases um, space academy might be good I want more production though where, where do I get that construction Damage control repairs our ships when they get damaged, so in combat. Salt shuttles is to get from our ship to their ship and take it. Fast missile wrecks, I think, double shooting speed or something, I can check that. To fire two volleys of missiles in one turn, we'll only fire one per turn after that. Okay, so in the first time, turn you get two. Okay. Astro construction battleloids. This is ground ground batteries. Best available. Okay, in Titan construction that could be great. Planet construction. Robotic factory down here. That is something that we may want. But it's like very deep into this tree. So the construction tree has something for us. Uh, fuel cells and armor missiles. Pollution processor. That might be something. Atmospheric renewer. 
many products from the atmosphere of a planet, the amount of protection is Oh, uh, so what, what's he doing actually? Okay. I don't know if this is for radiated planets or anything. Micro light construction uses microscopic nanomachines to present building ships less material. Plus one per worker. This is something that, I'm, yeah. And this is not too deep because this is only at 250. So let's, let's work on micro light construction. Oh, wait. Let's double check on physics. If if the physics trees has something for construction, gravity beam, tractor beam, jump gate. No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe f very far down, but does not look like it. So let's go for chemistry. Okay. Um, are we back? working on anything. Sol is working on housing. That's because Sol should like push the other planets. Ultra poor but they're nearly up to speed. Missile base. Lias could build um, biospheres. What go for biospheres first. It's one turn. And once you're done with biospheres, you can house six people, so we can send two people over there. Yes. And not from Soul, though. From Paradise. Okay. Uh... Security and commando. Up, sure. It's one BC per turn. Might be useful. Close. Yeah, for the leaders. So when they have a star behind a skill, that that actually levels with them. So um, this this one he does not level. So none of these three actually gain anything from gaining a level but the colony leaders actually do unfortunately not mega wealth but like researcher he generates just straight up 22 research and if he gains a level that even increases further and telepath also levels which is great she's like level 3 or something her plus 9 percent makes our defenses nearly impenetrable we lost spies and I did not notice. <laughs> That's bad. I'm sorry for my spies. Okay. Um, Robo mining plant. Yeah, we can buy it, so we should actually no. We should wait and buy something on Sol. Sol two. How's it? Six, okay. Let's see, let's see. A spy sent against the silent was lost. Okay. And I think, yeah. So they they finished the construction now. I think soon the the people should arrive, right? at the settlements. Biospheres should should be good. Um, grab also... Yeah, I think I want the cloning center, but not now, because there's no immediate need. My hydroponic farm, just to to be easy on my freighters. Research lab, and another lab. That's everything we should need. Two turns for this, so Soul Prime should can actually handle like two more settlers.
so prime can handle two more settles so one from here and one from paradise yes are we oh we're minus six on freighters which means someone's starving colonies <laughs> we need okay Cressa one don't build a colony base yet uh, build a freighter fleet that'll finish in one turn that gives us five freighters Laios um, don't build the missile base yet build another freighter fleet okay it's also one turn so that's plus 10 freighters that should do the trick and someone's starving yeah Laios uh, missile base soul prime head starvation soul prime head starvation oh yeah soul prime not, not the second one um, once that arrived, yeah, they had starvation because of uh, missing freighters. But we dealt with that now. You no longer have to suffer. Okay. Um, five of six, four of six, eight of ten, five of six, twelve of thirteen, uh, fourteen. So, yeah, all we have to do now is essentially pay for all the things that, that the colonies need. So we'll increase the, increase the taxes and um, yeah and just purchase everything that the new colonies need. Okay, thanks for watching and I'm very happy that war did not break out with the silence. We, we made contact but they don't seem too aggressive. If I take a look at races, yeah we're pretty much neutral to both of them which is great. <laughs> so, no one has to kill anyone right now. Uh, we'll, we'll soon kill them, but just not now. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight now. They have eight planets. Can I see that somewhere? Like on, in the infograph? Turn summary. Oh, this is great. I can take a look of what happened last turn. Reference. No. Okay, I need the history graph, but it's probably like population. I cannot see the planets though. We're not that far off in population. I don't know. Buildings, let's take a look. Oh, we're, we, we're getting up here. The silicoid have a lot of planets, so they have a lot of buildings. Fleet strength though. Oh, because they these two are at war, and someone sponsored them. That's huge. Tech, yeah, Cylon, and the Silicoid. I I think I know why. Because they stole the other labs, and then they built other labs everywhere. Now they have uh, probably something like eight planets. So it's 240 research every turn. Whew, that's a lot. Okay, but they are not creative, so they don't get all the tech. They have to select what they want, uh, which leaves them... Yeah, they, they will miss some techs, and that might be where we have a little bit of an advantage, but who knows? On the whole, we still have to settle everywhere. They have now eight planets, we only have four. The Cylons have six planets. Yeah, the Larry and the Gnolum, they will be crushed. They cannot escape. The Trillarians are surprisingly strong still. Is that a Titan? Do you actually... This is a battleship. Okay. Phew. Because Titan production would be a huge deal if they have that. Four planets on the Mersham. Okay. Yeah, still, I cannot attack the Silence. So, in a long term plan, I cannot attack the Silence. Because that would spread myself thin uh, on a defensive, uh, from a defensive position. I would have to, I would have a huge front to defend. Now, right now, to the silence, I only have this very slim front to the left here, and I have a huge front towards the uh, silicoid. 
So if I expand, I expand down here to crush them. And then I have like this triangle front, which is way better to defend, I think. Don't know though. We'll see. So thanks so much for watching. And um, yeah, if you like the race uh, for galactic dominance, make sure to subscribe and see you all in the next episode. Bye.